Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video, let's talk about another uh, library next with uh, Next.js. Okay. So first we will see what is this next here, next.js. Okay. So this is like uh, SQL query builder for all these different database. That means that covers almost all different database which we are using in our day-to-day -day projects, right? So next is actually uh, another popular library when it comes to not using a heavyweight ORM like SQLize and uh, type ORM and you just wanted to use spin up a simple query builder, right? Then you can use next and installation is simple. It can be used with uh, Postgres, SQLite, MySQL, Oracle DB, anything. And the setup is very easy. This is how you require the next connection and this is how you start getting the access to the database tables. So once you require it, how we start getting the table access using simple next and you, ju you just need to pass the table name simply like this. This will do nothing but it is going to return as a query select star from users where ID equal to this and resolve to the first record. Right? This is how we are going doing it and this is ID property. Like I mean whatever the you do the where clause, the ordering, order by, ascending, descending order and all these queries are here. Selecting from the users, uh, only select ID, it will give you all the users with the ID in an array format. Here it is selecting ID and age and giving you the user object. Right? So this is nothing but uh, you don't need to write a plain SQL queries. The next query builder is helping you to write joins, write queries, different kind of you can do the ordering, uh, all different things. Do you want to do it like where clause, where in IDs, right? Select name from the users where ID is in this and ID not in this, right? The output of this will be this. Uh, where not null, you want to get all the records where a particular column is not null, right? The joins, joins are very popular and here I want to focus on a lot of things. When you write joins with the help of type ORM and SQLize, I, this is my personal opinion that when you write joins, it is more efforts when you write joins with the type ORM and SQLize, but you write joins in next because it's nothing but writing a query. Uh, next users join with the context where user.id is equal to contact.userid and select user ID and contact.phone. Simple. I mean, from the reading perspective, it is very simple. Uh, join uh, the contacts with the user. This is the inner join. We can also do the left join, right join, and you can also execute some query function. Here, you wanted to apply some custom logic by doing a join on accounts. Here you are doing the join on two condition, account.id equal to the users.account id or account.owner id equal to user dot id. So it's like a join with the or condition. Right, so here we wrote a custom functions like nested join statement. Okay, left join, right outer join, full outer join, cross join, and all these things. Methods we have seen, not in, clear, having, having not null. So all these, these are utility methods you can say, which you can write using query builder. Right, simply having count null, simply a query. Select everything from user, group by count, order by this, having count greater than 100. So the query will be select star from user, group by count, having count 100, order by name in descending order. So order by is a name, this is the condition, having and group by based on the count. Okay, so how we should integrate this with an SGS? This is another question and we can solve it basically using NestJS. Uh, next library. So first we will introduce that library how that works and all. So this next first you have to introduce the query uh, this library and you also have to add this nest uh, next JS. Yes. This is another library which you have to add. That's it. Now in the database module we, we are writing a database module which is helping us to get the connection right. So first we will explore this library how it is working. Okay, so let's go to this. This is NPM module, same as NestJS type ORM. This is not that popular, but yeah, 
if you want to have integration with an SGS, then you, have, you can use this particular module. This is how it is providing the connection. For root async, we are doing a dynamic initialization of the next module. And here we are injecting the config object, like uh, whatever the configuration this next module needs. And in the services, this is how we will inject the, the next tables, next.schema. Uh, like this. This dot next dot table user and now I can do the operations. Okay, that is a different thing. Let's take a look. So this is a library, right? Now what do it need is how to do the migrations, how to do the seed, and how to access the table, read, write all these things because we are using this next as a query builder. Either we use uh, Express, but here we are using Nest.js, so we can write a database module that will use this module and nest next js and will initialize the database connection how it is happening so here we have modified our db module there you will see the footprint of the next module next module dot for root async rest it is nothing we are just inject we are just defining the use factory we are passing config service and with the help of this method we are returning these options so first of all, when you are using ORM, you need uh, or, config.ts. When you are using SQLize, you need SQLize rc.js. Here we need a next file.js, k-n-e-x file.ts. So how we are writing, writing it? This is nothing but a simple file which has all the different environment objects, local, dev, production, staging, and what it contains. Your client, which is a Postgres, MySQL, your connection URL, the migration and seeders, you can also specify where the migrations are kept, where the seeders are kept. So when you do npm run migration run, it knows where the migrations are kept. It will look into the folder and it will execute it. Here we are talking about simple user entity. You might be thinking I'm not writing code because these are the very basic things. I have already covered these in the details. Here I'm just trying to cover these three, four aspects. So in the DB module, config options and we are passing all these uh, arguments config config option we are getting from the next file based on the environment develop local production staging name retry times four times it will retry retry delay is uh, 20 seconds that's it this is the only required code from here and then we are adding this code this db module inside our main module which is inside app module entity module right so initialization of this module is a little simple db module dot for root we are calling this method where we have written the next module dot uh, root we are initializing that dynamically and then all the services and the controller now you will see the user controller controller is simple nothing fancy here we are injecting user service the important part here is how we are accessing the tables when it comes to the next js as a query builder so we will go to the create method and here this is a little bit different than what we were doing. First of all we injected uh, the next KNEX and we can access all the table using this dot next dot uh, the table name dot insert dot find dot update all these things. This is how we are creating it this dot next dot table. This is the table where we are going to perform the operation. Here you can see dot where dot where dot find dot select all these methods you can execute here it is deleting it here it is just updating it here it is returning the record this dot next dot table where id is this so it is going to run a query against the database table and all the results it is going to return here right so with the next lot of things get simplified even the relationships even the migrations the migrations we are writing in the migrations folder and the simple migration we have created a user table and we can also execute these commands let's go to this folder so we are inside this particular project and here we already did npm install and all so you can execute all these commands from the package.json npm run migration generate migration create like this npm run db migration make let's say I'm going to create a testing migration there I will be writing I will be creating a testing table right 
so this will this will execute the this will create the new plain simple migration then you will add your code whatever you wanted to do inside that and it is going to create the new migration inside this particular folder you can see testing migration and it's empty now you can say i have another table let's say a uh, user test and i have seen sort of columns now i can execute this users test this is the table name and what i will do is npm run migration run what it will do is it already know the migration directory it will check user table is already there it will skip that migration and then it will check okay this is the new migration i need to create this new table and it will create it for us okay it is executing this once the table is created you will be able to see that table in the database and then let's see that once this is done and then you can start accessing these tables using uh, the services and from the controllers you will be defining the routes two runs one migration so you should be able to see the the new table here i mean lot i'm using the same database for a lot of projects but here user test is created now you can see and this is the migration file which tracks what all migration has been executed so next time you execute npm run migration run it will skip these migrations okay same as the type orm okay this is how we run the migration this is how we write the migration and this is how we access the tables in our services so this is the next js with the next js okay here you can define your domains like here i have user i have a post blog comment product you can create the respective services this and this is how we are accessing the uh, database here we don't have a concepts of a repositories type or repositories and sqlized repositories here we are injecting next and then with the help of that we can access any table because it's not orm full fledged orm here we are not defining any entities but still you can define the models simple interface for each and every table so your methods will know okay this is going to return an array of users array of post or object of post or object of user okay this is all about a next orm with the nest js and with the help of postgres we have all the docker compose and all the files uh there are some old code i mean we don't need orm config so we can delete that because i copied these projects and changed the code in there okay that's it guys in the next video we can also take a look on to the sqlize and then we are done hi everyone and welcome back so in this video let's talk about another uh, library next with uh, next js okay so first we will see what is this next here next dot js okay so this is like uh, sql query builder for all these different database that means that covers almost all different database which we are using in our day to day projects right so next is actually uh, another popular library when it comes to not using a heavy weight orm like sqlize and uh, type orm and you just wanted to you spin up a simple query builder right then you can use next and installation is simple it can be used with uh, postgres sqlite mysql oracle db anything and the setup is very easy this is how you require the next connection and this is how you start getting the access to the database tables so once you require it how we start getting the table access using simple next and you just you just need to pass the table name simply like this this will do nothing but it is going to return as a query select star from users where id equal to this and resolve to the first record right this is how we are going doing it and this is id property like i mean whatever the you do the where clause the ordering order by ascending descending order and all these queries are here selecting from the users the only select id it will give you all the users with the id in an array format here it is selecting id and age and giving you the user object right so this is nothing but uh, 
you don't need to write a plain sql queries the next query builder is helping you to write joins write queries different kind of you can do the ordering uh, all different things we you want to do it like where clause where in id is right select name from the users where id is in this and id not in this right the output of this will be this uh, where not null you want to get all the records where a particular column is not null right the joins joins are very popular and here i want to focus on lot of things when you write joins with the help of type or even sqlize i this is my personal opinion that when you write joins it is more efforts when you write joins with the type or even sqlize but you write joins in next because it's nothing but writing a query uh, next users join with the contacts where user dot id is equal to contact dot user id and select user id and contact dot phone simple i mean from the reading perspective it is very simple uh, join uh, the contacts with the user this is the inner join you can also do the left join right join and you can also execute some query function here you wanted to apply some custom logic by doing a join on accounts here you are doing the join on two condition account dot id equal to the users dot account id or account dot owner id equal to user dot id so it's like a join with the or condition right so here we wrote a custom functions like nested join statement okay left join right outer join pull outer join cross join and all these things methods we have seen not in clear having having not null so all these these are utility methods you can say which you can write using query builder right simply having count null simply a uh, query select everything from user group by count order by this having count greater than 100 so the query will be select start from user group by count having count 100 order by name in descending order so order by is a name this is the condition having and group by based on the count okay so how we should integrate this with an sjs this is another question and we can solve it basically using nsjs uh, knacks library so first we will introduce that library how that works and all so this next first you have to introduce the query uh, this library and you also have to add this nest uh, nextjs this is another library which you have to add that's it now in the database module we we are writing a database module which is helping us to get the connection right so first we will explore this library how it is working okay so let's go to this this is npm module same as nest js type orm this is not that popular but yeah if you want to have a integration with the nest js then you have, you can use this particular module this is how it is providing the connection for root async we are doing a dynamic initialization of the next module and here we are injecting the config object like uh, whatever the configuration this next module needs and in the services this is how we will inject the the next tables next dot schema dot uh, like this this dot next dot table user and now i can do the operations okay that is a different thing let's take a look so this is a library right now what do it need is how to do the migrations how to do the seed and how to access the table read write all these things because we are using this next is a query builder either we use uh, express but here we are using nest js so we can write a database module that will use this module and nest next js and will initialize the database connection how it is happening so here we have modified our db module there you will see the footprint of the next module next module dot for root async rest it is nothing we are just inject we are just defining the use factory we are passing config service and with the help of this method we are returning these options so first of all when you are using orm you need uh, or orm config.ts when you are using sqlize you need sqlize rc.js here we need a next file.js k n e x file.ts so how we are writing writing it this is nothing but a simple file which has all the different environment objects local dev production staging and what it contains 
your client, which is a Postgres, MySQL, your connection URL, the migration and seeders. You can also specify where the migrations are kept, where the seeders are kept. So when you do npm run migration run, it knows where the migrations are kept. It will look into the folder and it will execute it. Here we are talking about simple user entity. You might be thinking I'm not writing code because these are the very basic things. I have already covered these in the details. Here I'm just trying to cover these three, four aspects. So in the DB module, config options and we are passing all these uh, arguments. Config, config option we are getting from the next file based on the environment, develop local production staging. Name, retry times four times it will retry. Retry delay is uh, 20 seconds, that's it. This is the only required code from here. And then we are adding this code, this DB module inside our main module, which is inside app module, entity module, right? So initialization of this module is a little simple. DB module dot for root, we are calling this method where we have written the next module dot uh, root. We are initializing that dynamically. And then all the services, and the controller. Now you will see the user controller. Controller is simple, nothing fancy here. We are injecting user service. The important part here is how we are accessing the tables when it comes to the next JS as a query builder. So we'll go to the create method. And here, this is a little bit different than what we were doing. First of all, we injected uh, the next ANEX and we can access all the table using this dot next dot uh, the table name dot insert dot find dot update all these things this is how we are creating it this dot next dot table this is the table where we are going to perform the operation here you can see dot where dot where dot find dot select all these methods you can execute here it is deleting it here it is just updating it here it is returning the record this dot next dot table where id is this so it is going to run a query against the database table and all the results it is going to return here, right? So with the next, a lot of things get simplified, even the relationships, even the migrations, the migrations we are writing in the migrations folder. And the simple migration, we have created a user table and we can also execute these commands. Let's go to this folder. So we are inside this particular project. And here we already did npm install and all. So you can execute all these commands from the package.json. npm run, migration generate, migration create, like this npm run db migration make. So let's say I'm going to create a testing migration. There I will be writing, I will be creating a testing table, right? So this will this will execute the this will create the new plain simple migration then you will add your code whatever you wanted to do inside that and it is going to create the new migration inside this particular folder you can see testing migration and it's empty now you can say i have another table let's say uh, user test and i have seen sort of columns now I can execute this users test. This is the table name. And what I will do is npm run migration run. What it will do is it already know the migration directory. It will check user table is already there. It will skip that migration and then it will check. Okay, this is the new migration. I need to create this new table and it will create it for us. Okay, it is executing this. Once the table is created, you will be able to see that table in the database. And then see that once this is done and then you can start accessing these tables using uh, the services and from the controllers you will be defining the routes two runs one migration so you should be able to see the the new table here I mean lot I'm using the same database for a lot of projects but here user test is created now you can see And this is the migration file which tracks what all migration has been executed. So next time you execute npm run migration run, it will skip these migrations. Okay, same as the type ORM.
okay this is how we run the migration this is how we write the migration and this is how we access the tables in our services so this is the next js with the nest js okay here you can define your domains like here i have user i have a post blog comment product you can create the respective services this and this is how we are accessing the uh, database here we don't have a concepts of a repositories type of repositories and sqlized repositories here we are injecting next and then with the help of that we can access any table because it's not a orm full fledged orm here we are not defining any entities but still you can define the models simple interface for each and every table so your methods will know okay this is going to return an array of users array of post or object of post or object of user okay this is all about a next orm with the nest js and with the help of postgres we have all the docker compose and all the files uh there are some old code i mean we don't need orm config so we can delete that because i copied these projects and changed the code in there 